After you've configured your downtime categories in your system settings and implemented tablets at the machines, you're ready to take a look at operator input downtime data. To do this, navigate to Reports and Downtime. Let's extend the date range here so that we get a bit more data. The downtime report is a Pareto chart that lists each individual downtime category along with the minutes of downtime included in that category. This report is great for finding patterns in shorter downtime events. From here, we can see each downtime event, how long it was, and the different reason that was input. Additionally, we can see if the downtime event was unplanned or planned. Although tackling long downtime events is something we recommend before even implementing tablets at the machines, there are times where the shorter downtime events are actually easier to solve. Through this report, you can start to see patterns within the downtime being reported, and also it can provide clarity for you and your team on what downtime events you would not have insight into before. These downtime events now can be seen and also reported to management so that you can take corrective action. Additionally, on the downtime report, you can see downtime by machine. You can start to dig in even deeper to what reasons were entered for downtime for each individual machine. For example, CNC 177 had a really long downtime period entered for lack of tooling. One thing that could be done here is a workflow could be set up to trigger a notification when that downtime event is entered. So say your operator enters lack of tooling as the downtime reason, that could trigger a text or email notification to make sure that the right person knows to take new tooling to that machine at the right time. Small changes like this can really increase the productivity on your factory floor. The downtime report is a great way to get insight and visibility into the patterns that are occurring on your shop floor when it comes to downtime.